Ooh, gonna make the wife happy. Get detail of the sink. It's gonna repel water. Smells good too. See that guy that's been detailing? Throw some in the sink. Buff it in there. And then the wife's gonna be happy when she comes home because the sink's clean. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Cleaning up the Jeep, Cousin's Jeep over here. And right now we're gonna be washing this with uh, Jack's Wax. Wash and wax. We're not gonna do a full video on this. Well, we'll just show a little bit of washing it. I'll show you the end results real quick. Um, this stuff works pretty good, I like it. It's a, it's a nice cleaning soap you can pick up and or order, pretty much order it. And then after we do that, we're gonna be applying our, our Jack's Wax seal seal and shine well seal and shine dang it i messed up spray and seal that's what we put on there i'm gonna leave my bloopers in the videos do you guys like seeing the bloopers why not you know um yeah we're gonna be applying this when the vehicle's wet because you can use this two applications dry and wet basically i think it has a sealant in it talk. so basically it's it uh you have that on it so it does have a little bit of pink sealant and excellent base layer of protection, spray on seal. So this is pretty good if you have a sealant on your vehicle or or probably a ceramics wax or whatever, you could probably use this. I don't see why not, especially uh, ceramic spray like uh, other products, because I believe they have some, some of the pro other products. I think they have a ceramic spray, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if they do. I have to go back on their website and see what else they have. You can see the dirt in here a little bit. It's not too bad. But this this Jeep right here has no wax on it. It has no sealing on it, not even ceramic coating. Last time it had a spray wax on it, so we did it with the shiny detail stuff, in which worked great. And so we're gonna apply this. So any when we apply this and we look at it, so you'll see the true result of this product because there's nothing else um, underneath it. All right, we'll get to washing and then we'll uh, spray this on. How much does it say put in here? It says two ounces, two to four ounces in your watch bucket. Or you go an ounce, whatever. There you go, that's enough. Yeah, today's a Monday. The kids at school, first day of the Fire One Academy. Where he's at, they do it in two stages. So instead of any, that's cool. He got to wear a uniform that way. He came home for lunch. So hopefully, he'll do good. I'm proud of him that he's going to do something like that. Work it. Wash it. Do it. Clean it. <laughs> I'm training well back and forth. He's tall. He don't need a ladder to uh, get the top like I do. So he's doing it. See, as you guys can see, there's nothing on there for protection. Look at that. That water is dead. Can you guys see that? Let me try a, a different setting. Let's see what we got here. If I can find it go flat see that it's just dead All right. yep it is dead so you guys can see that so we'll see when we use the product if it's uh gonna beat it we'll try we'll test it on the hood after we get the product see if we get any beating Got some red stuff in there. It's not really that dirty. Okay, we're all done washing it up with the Jack's wax. Wash and wax. Check it out. It's still wet. We're gonna dry it. We're gonna be applying that. But it cleaned up pretty good. Um, looks like it gave a little bit of a little bit of a shine. To it not much and you'll know this vehicle has nothing so 
It was good soap to clean it up. It did give a little bit of nice shine. What do you think? Did it shine up for you a little bit? You drive it every day. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to apply this. We're going to apply this wet. You can also do it dry. What we're going to do is we're going to spray it on. We're going to use it as a drying aid. We're basically going to spray it on and dry it off. So I'll probably be using two microfiber towels. All right, and then we'll look at it and see what it looks like. Then we'll, we can do a little water test on the hood, then I'll re-dry it, no big deal. We're going to do the top. Um, do, we're going to spray the windows. I'll have him get the top a little bit taller, but we'll start off in the hood to show you guys uh, what it's like. You want to have me one of those towels, please? This, this vehicle does need a nice uh, detailing. It's got some tar on it. It, uh, oh wow, look at how it sprays. That's a lot. Check it out. It's purple too. It matched the pump crazy. So we'll spray it on here and then we'll dry it off. Look at that. It kind of like moves the water a little bit. So what do you guys think? Not bad. Spray's pretty decent. Oh. Here, grab that for me. Let's see the towel. And we're going to rub it in. Yeah, that's vehicle. Cool. He needs to come over. We got to decon this thing. Needs a good decon. Get it uh one day, hopefully before winter, we'll see the way the weather changes around here. All right, I'm gonna buff it in a little bit. Yeah, I can see using this with the wet, you're gonna have to uh, use another towel. It's almost like applying a product, it seems like. That's what I'm getting from it. Oh yeah, that's better with another towel, yeah. It's looking good. The sun's not out today. Today's perfect detailing weather. Um, yeah, too bad I don't have all day to knock out a bunch of videos. I got other stuff to try out. And plus, this is not a sponsored video. Um, we pretty much buy our own products. And if I did get the product, I would mention it in the video. Look at that guy, it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna finish the whole vehicle and we'll come back. And then we'll look at it. Works in pretty good. You gotta work it in, it seems like. Working in a little bit, wiping in. I got a little bit of streaks, but not too bad. I think it's just from the water. But uh, there we go. We're gonna continue, I'll have him do the roof and we'll get this done. All right, guys, we're all done. Check it out. Looks pretty good. Clean it up nice. Gave it a nice shine, really. It really did. Kind of brought that silver back. What do you guys think? I think it's not too bad. Came out pretty nice. Check out the line. guys ever use this product let us know in the comments or what's your favorite drying aid or you might have many so let us know but check it out it's pretty good came out nice let's do a water test see if it uh, helped because if you guys remember the beginning of the video there wasn't any any wax on this thing he needs to bring it over more so i can test some products out more on it let's uh Let's go mist and see what we got. All right. Let me fix this. Holes. Oh, man, I'm all messed up from the holes. All right, ready to get... Look at that. Dang. It worked. Now, how long is the protection going to last? I don't know. With the spray being like that? Man, I honestly don't know. Um... It does have a ceiling in it. It could last maybe longer than a month. Um, 
I don't know, maybe in a couple weeks or so I can keep an eye on it. I know winter's coming. I like to throw something else on this for them for before winter. But look at that, that's pretty dang good. In the beginning, nothing on there. Now we got a little bit of... Yeah, if you guys ever use this, how long did it last for you guys? It's got a ceiling in there. We didn't use that much product. Oh, look at that. Go from nothing, dead water, to that. Maybe the, the, I'm sure the soap helped a little bit. It's got a little bit of wax in there, but not a lot. But check that out from nothing. And that's what's nice. Well, it's kind of nice to test products on a vehicle that has no protection on there, no wax, no sand, no coatings on there. Because with, you know, sprays like this, you can kind of get an idea what it's going to do. So if you had a sealant on here or any type of coating, man, it would be perfect for a topper or dry aid once, once a month. I'm not sure how much it costs. I got this in a holiday bundle and I got like a box full of a bunch of goodies. And it was worth it. It was uh, last Thanksgiving when they had that sale. And I try to buy everything kind of like on sale where I can, you know, I just buy a bunch of stuff and then try to try it out in the summer to save some money. But that's pretty cool. And I did the windows. Eh, it's not too bad at windows. He's sheeting off a little bit. His windows probably need a good clean and a little polish. I think so. I should try some products on his windows. But check that out. That's pretty good, guys. Now I gotta drive this vehicle out again. Check it out. Wow, I'm pretty happy with it. Look at that door. That's pretty good, Ben. Look at that. Remember before we we washed it and that? You didn't have no beating. Right. And that's what we want, the beating right there. You had the water just sitting on there like dead water. And now we got we looks good. That yeah, Jeep came out nice again. Check it out. Now he's going to bring it over more often. He only lives across the street. It's not like he got to drive far. Dude, I might come home from one day at work and it might be sitting here with a note on it. Wash me. <laughs> it might. Oh, well, he helps out a lot, so I don't mind doing it. And we get to hang out a little bit and, and do it. And then he helped also. So he helped with the spray. He helped washing it. So uh, he vacuumed it. So, hey, hang out a little bit. Dang, that did come out nice. I I'm really happy with it. Oh, so, all right, we're going to dry it off, and then we'll do our final results. All right, that's it. Dried it off a little bit real quick. Got a couple spots we got to dry off. Going to end the video because we got to move this thing. I got some running to do. But, yeah, Jack's Wax works pretty good. Um... At, right after I did the water test, I looked online from their website. It says it's supposed to last up to three to six months. So I don't know. We'll see. I tell them not to wash it for a little bit and I'll kind of see what it looks like. With winter approaching, we're not going to be able to test it for six months. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming let's go with three months, I guess. I would say the minimum three months protection. I don't see why it wouldn't last. It has a sealant in it. And sealant does last a lot longer than canuba wax. And it it's beating water pretty good and sheeting pretty decent too. And it gave a nice shine too. It looks good. I mean I hate to guess on how long a product lasts, but with winter approaching, I mean we're a couple weeks in uh, September. And then um man, it just here in Michigan, um the weather just turns quick. I mean in October you might get lucky. You don't know. You have to play by ear on 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 the weather you might have a nice november you might have a nice october you just don't know you might be able to squeeze in some detail in here and there it just you can't plan on saying hey october i'm gonna do a um i'll put a ceiling on this or something like that on a vehicle basically so september comes you can start closing your pool you start getting everything ready for winter basically um and then when you have some nice days you try to throw in some detail and stuff or whatever like that i mean that's how it is in michigan um everybody's got different um you know weather so that's how we kind of like do things in here um i don't know i don't know what else i'm gonna try on this i got a couple things i could try before winter to help them out uh, i might do a 
I'll polish on here, do a decon, and maybe put some turtle wax, that turtle wax spray on there so he can get through the winter. Or maybe dip, put different product. I don't know. What do you guys suggest? Um, I don't want to, you know, buy stuff real expensive. But um, to put on here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching us. I really appreciate you guys watching us without these videos. Without these videos. Without you guys, the videos mean nothing. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want. I don't really ask a lot for um, people for to subscribe. I don't know. I just saw. I just throw it in there once in a while. If you like what you see, join the channel. And yeah, and then don't forget to comment any stuff you guys use stuff that similar to these products. So you guys have a great day. Thanks. All right, go ahead, back up. I just want to get some footage of it.